We're gonna go and do a good deed. Let's go and do it. I got some thumbs up. Yay. So yeah, you gotta be really careful when you're driving down this road. Let's see, that's the dangers. Look, just look at the carnage. Whoa, that bus would have come from Bexley Heath. And there's the entrance to Danson Park there. We're going to be going towards Welling right now. On arrival to Welling, you'll notice there's a bowling shop and they sell guns in there. Actual guns. And uh, have a game of bowling as well. And there, right there is Welling United Football Club. Also home to Erif and Belvedere Football Club. And I've just seen an entrance over there. Uh, so I can see the football ground. I shouldn't go in there, but I'm going to anyway. Now I'll join this, do a U-turn. There's an entrance, you might be able to see it just over there. Well, I'm gonna drive in there and just to see, just have a look at the football ground. I know I shouldn't be doing this. We're gonna, we're gonna just gonna go in there. Oh, look. Oh, lovely football ground. Welling United Football Club, everyone. Glove? Yeah, Welling United Football Club in its glory. Look at that. They must lose so many footballs over there in that, that, that woods there. Cause look, it's not so high up, you know, the, the stand. And there as well, there's a main road. There's a main road just here where I just came from. And uh, pretty much the balls, they must lose so many balls. So we are entering Welling High Street. Jurassic World Reptiles, good for the children. Look, Jurassic World Reptiles. I'm guessing uh, sell loads of uh, like Komodo dragons in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they most probably sell things like uh, snakes and uh, uh, bearded dragons. You've got like two great big stores, like uh, unlimited stuff like bread, milk, eggs, fish, frozen food, toys, gadgets, you name it. And you can pretty much go across the road here, compare the prices with Morrison's and Tesco's. So pretty much find the cheapest price of wherever it is you want. Also, you get lovely, very lovely, big issue lady and men's. They are very lovely people selling the big issue. They tell you what's up, hey ya. Yeah, they, they, tell, they sell magazines that tell you what's up. So make sure you pick up a magazine. It tells you everything you need to know about everything. <laughs> the big issue lady. I'm coming back. I know, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. There's a pound shop there, but it's not your regular pound shop. This one is called Pound Plus Super Discount Store. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there's a bus getting in my way. We're right near a bus stop. There's also a bakery, Worth's Bakery. Giggling sausage. You have to giggle when you say it. Giggling sausage. <laughs> no, you don't really have to giggle, but that's what they're called. A record store. Been there for years. I tried to get a job in there once. They said they told me um, uh, that uh, they cannot just pluck somebody from the street. <laughs> uh, I need to. Yes. Yeah, so rest in peace to the guy who uh, used to own that. Lovely cannon. Okay, guys. So I believe this is a real cannon because it's been caulked or it looks like there's been filled in with some log of wood so that would have been a real cannon brought home by the troops of uh, England and then put on this display here in Welling. This Russian coronade was brought home by victorious British troops after the Crimean War between 1853 and 1856. The gun is on permanent loan from Firepower Royal Artillery Museum in Woolwich. It was represented to the people of Welling here in Welling, in mem commemoration of local people who worked in the munitions factories during the First World War. This will also be on display for many, many more years to come, I believe. I think this has been there many years. There's a curtain shop, but as you can see, those curtains to me look like a wedding dress. So if you want to get a cheap wedding dress, buy, buy one of these curtains and then make a wedding dress out of it because the, it looks like good quality. If you are a designer, you can make your own uh, customized wedding dress. I believe that this, uh, or you can just hang them up uh, by your windows if you like, if, you don't, if you're not getting married. But yeah, they are really lovely. Ah, they also do floors as well. 
support your local libraries because they are they are like um, a dying breed these libraries one one day these might not exist anymore uh, but but just keep supporting them because uh, just just make make use of them and they you know um, because they, they do bring people together and you can also use them for your own personal gain as well if you don't own a computer or if you don't know how to read a book you can also go to the library and uh, they'll teach you how to read books and stuff and, and, and use a computer so um, they're good to have in every community what else is there it's not a proper high street if you haven't got a KFC and a McDonald's across the road from each other or at least have one in your town the high street the, every, every high street should have a McDonald's and a KFC otherwise they're doing it wrong Back there. Oh, 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 that, that bus just ran a red light. Hey! Yeah! I might have to report the 51 bus. YSP Oriental Supermarket. I don't know what that uh, translates in Chinese, but that tells me straight away that they're selling some lovely Oriental foods. Next door to that, you've got a lovely Morley's. I think there's uh, support your local uh, fish, fish and chip shop. I always say that, but you should also support your Morley's <laughs> because look at the prices. Just look at the prices on this. Look, two pound fifty for a burger for your kid, or if you've got you know, the box meal, six pound ninety nine. You get the chicken burger, chips, the fish. Uh, not fish. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. <laughs> But that, I swear that charity shop it used to be here, along here, but now it's over there. Just, just for a second, I was a bit confused because uh, they, they moved a shop. Just like when you go into a shop and they, they move everything around, they rotate. It's called rotation, like stock rotation. And then when you're trying to find the bread, you're trying to find the, something else instead. You're trying to find what you're looking for. And then you can't find it because they've had a stock rotation. So it's really, uh, it's jarring when that happens. But yeah, I can understand why they do it. I also think some people can be, it can be annoying for some people as well, <laughs> who are trying to look for the, you know, the, um, the sausage, <laughs> trying to find your sausage and, and then it's in the, you know, it's in the donut section. <laughs> oh no, look, print room. Print room is here. It's like there's one over there and there's one here too. They must have moved. See, I think they are doing that a lot here in Welling. They are like changing the location of their shop. Oh look, here's the charity shop I really like. Quality care when it counts. And that's a Greenwich ah, Community Hospice. Community Hospice, they look at that, the shop window. It's got absolutely everything from every era. These stripes looks like a zebra like black and white stripes so you can walk across the road uh, blind and the cars will automatically stop I'll show you an example look that guy there he's walking across the road the, the, the cars the cars will stop for him look you see the car stop and that's why it's called a zebra crossing you don't have to look like a zebra to cross that road although if you did dress up as a zebra technically you could cross any road and they'd have to stop for you so everybody should wear zebra zebra clothes <laughs> what i love about train stations is is having a pub outside a train station there's one here the plow and harrow there's much more than what meets, meets the eye there's another charity shop up there i'm gonna go and show you it uh, i am gonna show you it. there's a Ch chinese shop there buy some china support your local takeaway food food stores support support your local pubs as well the plow and harrow support your pub pubs go go get a beer i haven't done a good deed today so we're gonna go and do one we're gonna go and do a good deed let's go and do it don't know what it is yet i got some thumbs up hey welling high street so many chemists so many pound shops uh, one of one of one in which were closed down. You can you can also make uh, a wedding dress from curtains, as it looks so beautiful. 
uh, so many uh, chemists and there's one beside me as well. The only difference between this chemist and all them other ones is that this one is open seven days a week. So on Sundays, they'll usually be closed. But today, if, it, if it's Sunday, this one will be open. And there's a train. You see the train that's going uh, back, uh, that's going towards London. That's going to London, yes. spotter this is probably the best place to come and be spotting because it's a t-junction but it's it's really it's really like a give you have to give way otherwise you're gonna have a crash if someone doesn't give way to you you're gonna crash into them it's really dangerous this part <laughs> and I nearly, nearly uh, got a car crash on camera accidentally <laughs> you, why would you put that there why would you put that there when this is blocking it it's silly Look, you, I'll, go, I'll show you an example. I'm standing here, I can't see the screen. I literally have to move a little bit over here so I can see it. But if you're, if you're over there, you cannot see it. You might as well just put it in the middle of a field nowhere. <laughs> Where no one can see it. Red man is dead man. Don't, don't go across the road if it's red man. Because these cars will just go. <laughs> you know, red man, dead man. Always remember that. These, she's telling me to go. She's, she's telling me. She's telling me to go. Uh, this car, but it's still red man. It's still a red man. I should go. Thank you. Yeah, I should. I, I shouldn't have gone. But even though she told me to go, she told me to go. But I shouldn't have gone because it was still a red man. Although it was. It was very safe. Uh, try not to. Try not to listen to other people's instructions, you know, especially someone you don't know. Now, if you're walking along or if you're, they, they want to help you across the road, tell you to go across the road, don't, don't listen to them because it, usually it means that, you know, you're, you're basically trusting somebody else's word, somebody else's, you know, judgments for you, letting you cross the road. She was literally holding her hand out, basically telling me to cross the road. But I get that all the time and, and sometimes, once or twice like there was a chance I could have been hit by a car because I trusted somebody's judgment judgment in letting me cross the road she was like come on go on love go on love cross the road come on I'll let you cross but somebody could come out from beside her and all of a sudden you know at such a speed and go into me you know it's uh, I'm trusting somebody else's judgments could kill me so we've got to be really careful <laughs> stay safe and trust yourself more than others right here is the tower end of Welling High Street where you can bump make sure you go into there check out there you, if you've got a good eye you can find some bargains in there where Welling High Street train station that's where it gets you to if you need to go to Welling High Street go to Welling station this or and all those shops that I showed you so uh, you come out here you go down there turn left and then basically you can hit all them shops try there's so many shops much more than what i showed you as well i love i love your decorations i love i love what they've done to the place so they're getting ready for halloween look at it happy halloween with a lovely lovely bit of blood as well look at that oh lovely plates skulls really funky skulls bats cats oh what's so scary about that don't scare me but yeah, I'll give him, give him kudos credit for for decorations. Awesome, wedding train station. You've done it right. <laughs> Look at that. Here it comes. There's the train. It's one going to London. I need to be on the other side. But just when you fancy a hot chocolate, you'll find out. I think they're closed. Shut happens. <laughs> They're shut. I had a nice time showing you around Welling High Street. I'm back here. I got, I drove and driven, drove and driven, drove and. <laughs> I used my e-scooter to drive all the way to Welling High Street. And 
just sh show you all of the shops and all of what, what's there, where you can expect. And there's also more than what, what you can expect. But I've also just found out that there's one of these things here. I've discovered that, yeah, they haven't opened it yet because it's still shrink wrapped, but this one isn't. This is also a busy road. There's a sh ice cream. Always stops outside my house. Yep, always stops outside my house. Makes the dogs go crazy. And I have to, ultimately, I have to buy an ice cream for my little one. Uh, but I haven't got much money, but uh, when, when uh, I need to try and keep the little one satisfied, that damn ice cream parks out right outside my house, blaring out his songs. <laughs> So I have to get all the money that I've got left. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'll hit the next town and we can have a blast. I'll show you around and discover some things. And then you can discover some things. Upon my discoveries, uh, we can discover things together and uh, learn something about the next town from this one. Pretty much there's always something to learn, so let's just hit them up. Let's hit up these new towns and discover something. Just remember, there's always somebody that's generous. Just because one person isn't generous doesn't mean that everybody else isn't. Whoa, there's something crazy going on there. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> if, we, if I stand here for long enough, I will definitely catch um, some kind of a collision from the cars because they are crazy today beep 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 you know bibbing at each other <laughs> i don't know people are just nuts <laughs> anyway peace out jets off your bollock dollops and your friends here on breakfast whatever you do make it hilarious peace out <laughs>